Unlicensed gun dealers are caught on tape selling weapons to people who admitted that they couldn't pass a background check. Not a collection, no tax, no paperwork. Okay, so no background check. Nope. All right, good. I probably could have passed one. <laughs> one of those things, you I know? hear you, yeah. All right. Let's do it. The videos are part of a sting operation authorized by New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg to highlight the unregulated sales of so-called occasional dealers. The mayor hired several undercover investigators to pose at buyers at gun shows in Nevada, Ohio, and Tennessee between May and August. According to a report released Wednesday, 19 out of 30 sellers they encountered during that investigation broke the law. Most U.S. states don't require private dealers to conduct background checks, but federal law also says they aren't supposed to go through with a sale if the potential buyer is unlikely to pass a background check. The problem with these private sellers is that they're not only selling to criminals, they're putting financial pressure on licensed dealers to do the same. Gun control advocates say the gun show loophole makes it easier for criminals to acquire guns and makes it more difficult for law enforcement to trace those weapons if they're used in crimes. The National Rifle Association has dismissed the stings as nothing more than a publicity stunt. We have no interest whatsoever in shutting down gun shows. We just want to make them safe. New York Remember, officials say no civil action has been planned, but they are evaluating their options. Mayor Bloomberg says the undercover videos and a written report are being sent to every member of Congress, the Department of Justice, and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.